for copyright purposes, I will now sing the theme song to Jurassic Park. I apologize ahead of time. Okay, I'm hey, what's up, everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. And we are back with another, I guess you can say action figure review. Um, I will just say dinosaur review. Velociraptor, to be exact. I think he's, uh, I was going to make a stupid joke, but no, I don't know. I was going to say he's the rapping, rapping raptor, but no, I, I, I didn't know where I was going with that. So I, I didn't have anything to give you guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so this is from the Amber Collection. Now, I did see um, uh, the Ian, Ian Malcolm figure uh, at, uh, I was going to say at Jurassic Park, at GameStop. Um, I didn't pick him up. He looked really, really cool. Um, of course, I'm a big fan of Jurassic Park, as a lot of you guys who are maybe watching this review, if you love dinosaurs like I love dinosaurs, then you're pretty awesome. But I wanted to pick up this Velociraptor because I thought he was really, really awesome. This is from the Amber Collection. Um, and yeah, <laughs> there's nothing really, to, there's really nothing more to say. Uh, here's a read up on the Velociraptor. Highly intelligent and aggressive, the Velociraptor is known to hunt in packs with the innate ability to distract and deceive her prey. This cunning predator proves to be one clever girl. Ha <laughs> ha How do you like that? Okay, guys, um, now if you're a fan of Jurassic Park, you might like this review. If not, then I don't know what to tell you. Please don't give me a thumbs down. Please. Please. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's open this up. Let's free the dinosaurs. Let's free the dinosaurs. And it comes with, it looks like a stand. Um, wasn't that the stuff, uh, was it the amber? The amber that they found the dinosaur uh, mosquito in, and then they drilled into it, and then they got the DNA. Is that what they're talking about as far as the amber collection? If so, let me know, guys. Um... I'm not really for sure. It's been a while since I've seen the movie, even though I've seen the movie hundreds of times. But there's the stand right there. Actually, you know what? We'll just remove the stand. <laughs> like, a dumb, like a dummy, I'm here talking. Oh, there's the stand right there, and don't remove it. What kind of toy reviewer are you? So there's the, uh, I'm guessing, the stand uh, to for uh, the Philosophical Raptor. I'm looking, and I'm looking, and I'm looking, and I'm looking... Oh, okay, I see. Oh, wait, there's a little thing right here. Let me see. What is this? I'm guessing... Oh, okay, I got you. Maybe... I guess you plug that into there, and then you... Something plugs into there. Okay, so let's take this out. Let's take the Philosophical Raptor out, and of course, he's got some... Twisty ties. He's tied up, so let's break out my trusty... Toenail clippers. Ooh, ooh. Sorry, sorry, people. They're strictly for toy reviews because I found that reviewing action figures when you're removing action figures from the package, that toenail clippers are the best, best thing you can use to free an action figure um, because it gets into the grooves, you know. It gets gets into the grooves speaking of toenails look at this guy he needs his nails clipped okay I think I got him set free I removed all the twisty ties from this Philosophical Raptor man he's in there isn't he There we go. I got the Philosophical Raptor set free. Look at that. Let's bring my camera down just a little bit. That's him clapping his uh, toenail or tapping his toenail. Clapping. Did I say clapping? Okay. Pr 
pretty, pretty. Oh, okay. I see where the thing goes. It goes into where his, uh, his wiener is at. And I'm guessing it's supposed to be like a mount right there so you can plug him in. We'll take a look at that in a minute. But, uh, yeah, this is a really, really nicely detailed Raptor, man. You know, I haven't collected any of the, uh, previous Jurassic Park stuff because I, for some reason, I just didn't, you know. I always wanted to get the big T-Rex. Um, but as soon as I, as soon as that T-Rex was out, man, I seen like hundreds of reviews on that giant T-Rex and, and I was like, yeah, he looks cool, but I'm like, eh, I don't know if I need a big T-Rex. I, I don't, I don't have the space for a T-Rex. So, and uh, when I was younger, I actually had the original, uh, T-Rex from the original Jurassic Park back in the day from 1994 or 93 when it first came out. So, yeah, yeah, but this, uh, Velociraptor is really, really nicely detailed. I love the way he looks. I love the eyes. I love the jaw. It is articulated. It can open and close. Snap into a Slim Jim! Um, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I just thought of, I just thought of Slim Jim when I looked at him. <laughs> What's the uh what's the Geico Geico commercial with the gecko? Uh what does he usually say? You can save insurance by switching to Geico. <laughs> okay. Uh enough tomfoolery. Let's get serious. This is a toy review. Let's get serious. Okay, so the only every he's made out of plastic. Everything is made out of plastic except for this tail right here, which is rubberized, but it's not bendable. Uh, but it is somewhat articulated. It can move, but it's it doesn't rotate or any of that good stuff. His legs can extend out that much. He does have a break here, a knee bend. And he also does have a, I don't know what you would call this, another knee bend right there. It's articulated right there. Uh, his toe, well, one of his toes, oh, his ankle is articulated. So, yeah, you can get some good pivoting going on with this raptor as he should have right well not pivoting more like bending his uh claw toe right here is articulated as you can see right there boom and same thing with this leg same articulation with this leg and this toe both these right here these claw toes these inner toes are articulated so it can lift up lift down Pretty, pretty cool. As far as his arms are concerned, his arms can extend out that much, which is pretty awesome. Bend inward, inward. He can grab you, hold you, and hug you, and love you forever, as a raptor would always do when in Jurassic Park, when he would see one of his friends. He'd jump on him and hold them and kiss him and love him. Because Velociraptors are very loving creatures. Um, <laughs> he can... His hands are, have really, really good movement. I like his hands. It's like he's throwing up some gang signs. Yeah, that's right. That's right, bitch. I'm from the west side of the jungle. <laughs> I'm from the west side of the forest. West side of Jurassic Park. Come over here. You're going you're gonna to get eaten. Okay, guys. Pretty, pretty nice. Oh, uh, let me show you my... Uh, the articulation and the head movement. Yeah, there's the head right there. Or the neck, you could say. Uh, nothing in the upper jaw other than his jaw. Or his upper head. It looks like this part moves right here, but it doesn't. Okay, guys. Let's put him on the stand. Let's uh, plug him in. I wish I could blur this out right here. This is very inappropriate for all the kids that are watching. But here we go. There you go. You learn something new every day. Right, right, kids? Okay, so there we go, standing on the stand. Standing on the stand, hence the name Stan, because he's standing on the stand. That's a really, really cool piece, man. A really, really awesome price. I really, really, really like this Velocal Raptor. Shout out to the Toronto Raptors for winning the championship. That just came out of nowhere. I don't know why. I just thought of Raptors, and I thought of Toronto Raptors. So any Canadian fans watching, rock on. Okay, so yeah, there is Velociraptor. I really, really like this piece. 
I think he's a pretty, pretty awesome uh, dinosaur. My only gripe, my only gripe, guys, is that this, this, I was going to say effer, this guy right here was a little bit overpriced, man. Uh, I got him at GameStop for like around 30 bucks, man. I don't know if he's worth 30 bucks. I think he should be like around 20, 25, maybe 26. But yeah, for $30, I don't know if he's actually worth it. Unless you really, really love dinosaurs. Um, but I would suggest waiting for him to... There he goes. He's more plugged in now. Uh, I would suggest waiting uh, for this... If you like dinosaurs or Jurassic Park, waiting till the price drop because he's definitely going to drop down to 15, 10, you know, in the coming months. He just he's just been he's brand new. So he's been released. And uh, yeah, the price is going to drop. So I, I suggest waiting unless you really, really want to get this guy and pay $30. Uh, my suggestion, don't pay $30. <laughs> but I do recommend this uh, this Velociraptor. OK, so coming up. We're going to do some comparisons of some other action figures with the Velociraptor. Okay, so here is the Velociraptor standing next to the Predator. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where did the Predator go? Go to. Where did my Predator figure go to? What? No! You ate him, you son of a... I, uh, yeah, I found the Predator. I thought I thought he ate him. <laughs> okay, so here was the last review that I did. This was of uh, the Fugitive Predator, and this is how the Fugitive Predator and Velociraptor measure up. Actually, I didn't even have a chance to measure this uh, this Raptor. So let's break out the trusty tape measure. So he is on his stand, so that adds probably like maybe an inch or so. So the Velociraptor stands just under seven inches tall. Without the stand, he stands at about six and a half inches tall. So, yeah, without the stand, uh, six and a half. With the stand, just a little under seven inches. So this is how he sizes up with the Fugitive Predator. I don't, I don't have any dinosaur uh, comparisons I can bring out <laughs> to do some comparisons with. So I'm just bringing out uh, friendly family uh, action figures to do some reviews with. And I think the Predator is friendly, uh, f uh, family friendly. That's what I meant to say. So there he is with the Fugitive Predator. Other uh, animal um, <laughs> figures that I have in my collection. I don't have too many. So here is the uh, from the RoboCop uh, Terminator... Uh, series. This is the uh, the Terminator dog right here, standing next to the Velociraptor. Raptor. So that's how they measure up. And if you're wondering how tall this Terminator dog is, he stands about four inches. It's me, Mario. And just for the hell of it, guys, <clears throat> we have Mario right here from Jack Pacific Toys. This is how he measures up with the Velociraptor. Raptor. Don't. Don't do it. Mario is not a snack. So this is how he measures up with Mario. And being that we had Mario, we have Yoshi right here to bring in another dinosaur. <laughs> to another dinosaur comparison right here. We have Yoshi from Mario. Here's Yoshi standing next to the Velociraptor. Raptor. So there's how Yoshi measures up with the Velociraptor. Raptor. Look how vicious. Look how vicious Yoshi looks compared to the Velociraptor Raptor right here. Woof. Or should I say roar? And the last comparison that will make uh, brought out another reptilian friend. We got the NECA Raphael right here standing next to the Velociraptor. Raptor. Look at that. Who would win, Raphael or Velociraptor? Raptor? I think I think Raphael would go hardcore on a man and slice him up, and then later add him to his pizza. What do you think? So there's the reptilians, right there. Both genetically enhanced are mutated. Well, actually, Raphael is more mutated than the Velociraptor. Raptor. So Velociraptor Raptor is genetically engineered, where Raphael is a mutation. Yeah, I think it, I think that made sense. Hey, ladies and gents, 
Uh, I know you waited a long time for this review, 65 million years to be exact. So we had a little look at this Velociraptor. Let me know what you think of this dinosaur. Are you going to pick him up? Uh, do you own any Jurassic Park uh, dinosaurs or, or figures or action figures, people from Jurassic Park? Um, so if you like this little review, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to receive more ooh, cool, awesome reviews like this. And I do mean awesome reviews. And we'll go ahead and go ahead and leave it at that, guys. Uh, I don't know why I just repeated myself, but we'll go ahead and leave it at that. I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the guy. I'll catch you guys in the next review. Bye.